Universal Analytics is a thing of the past. Starting July 1st of 2023, Google started cutting people off on Universal Analytics and started to deprecate the collection of data in Google Analytics, Universal Analytics properties. However, a lot of people still collected data for a while and they're still going to have access to this data. Now we know we're going to have access to this data until at least July 1st of 2024. But but the question is, what do we do with this data, right? We're getting all of this new data in Google Analytics 4. None of it could be ported into Google Analytics 4, but we do know that we're still going to want to be able to do year over year comparisons. Um, some people might want to do multiple years over year comparisons. So how do we do that one? And how do we get the data out of Universal Analytics into a place where we can keep it right and always access it? Well, the answer is sync with. Now, if you've never used sync with, they allow you to tap into APIs of different marketing tools, really just any tools in general and connect them to Google Sheets or Looker Studio directly. So what we're going to be doing today is using the sync with Google Sheets extension. So if we go into Google Sheets here and we go into extensions, you'll see that if you give it a second, it will load up all of my extensions here. Now, if you don't have the extension already, all you have to do is go to add-ons, get add-ons. It's going to open up the library here and you're just going to look up this sync with right here. So you'll go to sync with, you'll install it, uh, refresh your sheet, and then you will see it in here. Now we're going to open up this sidebar, which is going to allow us to select what we want to connect with. As you can see, there are tons of things in here. You've got Shopify, you've got different databases, project management, sports stuff, marketing stuff, all sorts of stuff. So I highly suggest you check it out, even if you're not going to use it for the specific purpose. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on this Google Analytics 3 here. So again, this is gonna tap into the API, right? So we're gonna select our login here, select our property, and then we are going to select a view here. Now, you'll see that by default, this is set to the last 90 days, but the really cool thing about Sync With is that you can select all time. You can also select any specific date range if you're like, really, we only need the last 18 months of data. Um, but I'm going to select all time because I don't have a ton of data for this website. And then you start selecting your dimensions. So there are a few things that I highly suggest that you do capture. So one of those is going to be your source medium, right? Th these are like, where did people come from? So we're going to click on source medium here. And I'm also going to include landing page just because I'd like to see that. And then you start collecting your metrics. Now, in reality, all of this depends on what is important to you and what things are you going to want to be able to look at retroactively, right? So like, is it important to us how many users came from a specific Facebook ad? Is it important to us to see if people that converted actually looked at our blog posts and how is that changing over time? Do we want to be able to compare those, right? So you really need to sit down and think about like, what are our goals? What are the things we're going to be held accountable for? What data might we need? in the future and things of that nature. So for this, I'm just going to do some simple metrics. Like I want to know how many people came, how many sessions there were, what the average session duration is. We're going to look up goal completions. This is a big one. Uh, so we can do that starts. I want goal one starts. Let's see anything else on here. Oh, sure. We'll do bounce rate. Okay. So we have user sessions, average session duration, goal completions, bounce rate. Another easy way to do this would be to like go to your analytics property and go, okay, so what report did I go to the most? For me, one of the biggest was this report right here, that session uh, source medium. So I have source medium like users. Okay. That was important. New users, not as important to me. Sessions, got it. Bounce rate, got it. Pages per session. We could add that in here. Uh, so we'll do pages per session and then session duration, got it. Conversions, goal one. And that's all, all that was really important to me. So uh, we are good to go. And then you can filter it. If you wanna filter it, you can add specific segments if you'd like, but I don't really need all of that. So I'm going to go click next. We're not gonna need to schedule this because it's not gonna update because 
it stopped processing data. Um, show status row. I'm actually going to hide this because we don't need the status row. Basically, all it is is it says, hey, this was scheduled. Do you want to refresh it, et cetera, et cetera. Again, we're not going to refresh this. We're not going to update it. And if you add that status row and you ever want to connect this to Looker Studio, it messes up the formatting. So we're just going to hide the status row and we're going to have this be put in a new sheet. I'm going to name this source medium report here and we're going to insert and so once you click insert it's going to start populating that data in the sheet which is going to be named the same thing as what you uh, named the report and now you can see now i have all this here so i have my source medium my landing pages sessions users average session duration and then the bounce rate all that perfect now I, I could always connect this to looker studio and then i have these dimensions right and then these metrics perfect another thing that's going to be really important to people so this doesn't connect anything to a date if i wanted to do this same report for a date all i'm going to do is i'm going to click this drop down i'm going to duplicate it and then i'm actually going to get rid of both these things i'm going to put date in here and then i'm going to do source medium and i'm going to do landing page click next and this is going to say by date insert and then we just give it a second again and all this is going to populate in a new sheet and once the sheet is ready it's going to open it boom now we have this so this is every single day right every single day where all these people came from landing page etc so again this has anything that was available in the universal analytics api is available in sync with maybe even a couple more things i don't really know i haven't compared the two recently but when you do this you can connect this to looker studio and do some mapping if you wanted to the universal analytics metrics to ga4 metrics so that you can compare the things you know another thing that i like to look at is behavior site content all pages this was one of my favorite screens to look at as well like which pages are people going to the most right really helpful to know that you have all of this data, even if you're not sure how you're going to use it. Because again, coming July 1st, Universal Analytics is gonna start getting rid of people's data. We know that data is important. It's a lot better to have it and not need it than it is to need it and not have it. So if you have any other specific questions about how to back up this data, let me know in the comments. And in another video, hopefully it'll be linked here soon, uh, I will go over how you can use this data in a Looker Studio report along with your GA4 data. So thanks and I'll see you next time.